and welcome. Hi og velkommen. My name is Malena. I am a Danish knitter coming to you from the northern part of Denmark where I live with my husband and our two girls and our two cats who will hopefully not disturb us too much today. If you've been here before, you have seen the show. <laughs> But I'm hoping. I'm also hoping that the sound will be good today. I have not put on my mic. It is right here next to me, right there. So hopefully it'll still catch everything that it is supposed to. I hope so. But welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you taking some of your time to spend it with me. We're going to talk about knitting. It's been a while since I've sat down. I've been so busy. Work has been crazy. But thankfully, summer is here. And for me, that means uh, that work is out because I do teach and I can't teach kids who are not there because they're on summer break. So, <laughs> so summer for me is just calm, time to fix things around the house that I usually don't have the time to, time to knit, time to be with my family. So I'm really looking forward to that. My oldest, as you might know, um, she has been away this year on after school um, and she's coming home. It's Thursday today, Thursday, May, May, what? <laughs> Thursday, June 22nd, and she's coming home tomorrow on Friday. We're going to go to her graduation. I am so, so excited. And then after the summer, she's going to go to the Danish high school. Yes. Okay. But what we're really here to talk about is knitting. So I'm going to tell you about my knitting. I have some FOs, some whips. We're going to talk about all this sock cows going on. Right now, I'm excited about that as I am a crazy sock knitter. And um, I also have podcasters of the day to tell you about today. So lots of knitting sprinkled with a little bit of music, business as usual. Let's get started. First up, we have FOs, finished objects. And the first two I can't show you because they have been given as a gift. I went to a christening for my uh, cousins, her little girl. Her name is Vilda. She's just absolutely precious. And I knit her a pair of booties and a dress. I'll, I will put in a little video on top here while I'm talking. Uh, the dress is called Sommerfull Kjole Butterfly Dress. It is a pattern that I found in a magazine. I will link uh, that down below. I don't think I can link the pattern, but I'll write which magazine it was, as well as everything else you see on here today. If you have any questions, look at the description box down below and there will be links for everything. And if there's not, just shoot me a message and we'll figure it out. Um, yes, but the dress, the butterfly dress I knit and a pair of booties. The booties are by Kestenjeslek. She has this amazing online store and I've been lucky enough to meet Tina a couple of times when I went to some events and her patterns are just amazing. They're inspired by the fairy tale author H.C. Anderson. So for every pattern, there's a little piece of a story. It's just, I love that. It's so nice. The pattern for that You can get in English on Ravelry, and I will link that down below. <laughs> Maybe I should also mention, if you want to message me, <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, because this episode, I will not be answering the comments. And why I won't be doing that, I will let you know in the end of this episode. It has something to do with presence. But I'm not going to say the G word, because then the trolls are going to come. Just, just a little teaser there. But if you wanna, you have a question or anything, just send me a message on Instagram. I am also the playful knitter on there. Those were the only FOs I had that were not sock related. So here are three pairs of socks. <laughs> I, people ask me, are you never gonna get tired of knitting all the socks? And I'm just gonna say no, because I, I tried to knit something else. And as soon as I get well into it, I might enjoy it. But then I'm like, oh, 
I need, I need to knit a sock. Just, just give me some, some needles and some yarn and let me cast on a sock, please. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. The first one I'm going to show you today is this one. This is my May sock for the A Lonely Sock Lady Challenge. I've talked about that quite a bit. Oops. This colorway is called Mrs. Santa Claus's Underwear. It is from, oh, now I'm forgetting. Was it from the 2021 Advent? I do believe it was. If not, I apologize. I've been kind of on a kick lately with these garter stitch heels. It's still like a heel flap and gusset, but just knit with only garter stitch. I test knit a pair of socks for Stephen West and he did it and I was like, that's nice and easy. And I'm crazy about the knit stitches, you guys. Just let me knit, 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 and I'm just in heaven. <laughs> so I thought, why not? And as you can see, I did just a plain vanilla because I've been busy, the world has been on top of my head, and it's just, I needed a break. So, vanilla socks, they're my jam every time. And because of that, here are some more vanilla socks. <laughs> These ones, oh my gosh, look at this color. I'll see if I can put it a bit closer and still have it focus. This is, I don't know, I mean, the most beautiful, crazy, wonderful, amazing, generous, generous, gen generous, generous <laughs> gift I have received. I mean, I've received this yarn as a gift. Let me just say, I marked this episode with sponsored content because some I've received as a gift and some is sponsored. If it is sponsored, I will put a little thingy on the screen so there will be no doubt. Total transparency here, nothing hidden, no nothing. So this is a gift from Three by the Sea Designs. This is their Wizard of Oz sock set and it is gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know why I did not bring the lab labels and I'm kind of blanking on names this morning. It is early in the morning. I'm trying to get this podcast, um, <clears throat> excuse me, filmed before the heat turns back on. It is warm outside. Summer has hit Denmark, but I'm pretty sure that this main color is off to see the wizard. And I am completely sure that the contrast right here is Emerald City. When I received this package and this yarn was in there, I had, I just, I had to watch the movie and for once my daughter Ella she wanted to watch a movie with me and she loved it and that just made me so happy that we could share that because the Wizard of Oz is just yes I love that movie so it was really nice to get to share with one of the girls this yarn this was a challenge for me because I said in one of my episodes that I don't like high twist yarn. I think it's very thin, makes my knitting kind of floppy. I don't know if that's the right word. And then Camilla from Camajo Knit, she contacted me and said, I have a base, it's high twist. Um, it's a 366 meters per 100 grams. I think I can change your mind. I'm like, challenge accepted. And I have to say, she was right. This yarn is amazing. Look at the stitch definition on that. That's that's what I, I didn't really appreciate too much about the high twist I've tried before, but that was like 425 meters, meters per 100 grams. And this is 366 meters per 100 grams. I really like it. It is just squishy and lovely and wonderful to knit with. And again, here we go with the vanilla sock with the garter stitch heel. There, 
there's the focus. The yarn and the cake looks like this. Let me show you her logo. It is merino sock, 8020 base, high twist. Ooh, 365, not 366. I apologize. 365 meter meters per hundred grams. Mocha rose is the colorway, and it's a two ply. It was just pure joy. If you think you might want to knit with this type of yarn, hang on for the thing in the end. That's all I'm gonna say. So three finished pairs of socks, plenty more of the needles. So let's jump right on to whips. When I was planning this podcast, I didn't really know what to show you with the whips. I mean, I have plenty on my needles, but I am test knitting quite a bit at the moment. So that's what I'm spending most of my knitting time on. So there's there, there are things that I, I can't show you because it's a secret. Um, I just finished test knitting a sock. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that soon because that pattern is just crazy gorgeous. Um, I'm also test knitting something that is not a sock. And I don't even know if I can tell you what it is, so I won't. But after I show you these ones that I am able to show, I will show you the yarn because I really want to talk about that because it's, I love it. Let's start off with the socks that I have on my needles. My June sock for the Lonely Sock Lady Challenge is this one. And again, with the garter stitch heel. I have these on a 2.25 millimeter Chagu Magic Loop. Those are my favorite. I love them so much. Let me show you, I actually have one done, which is good since it is the 22nd of June and not May, right, Elena? <laughs> This one was from her Rose Garden Yarn Club from this year. And the June, it is called I Would Give You the World. It's like um, from the song Rose Garden. I think it is really, really beautiful. Kind of a rainbow? Well, maybe not kind of. And that's why it is in my rainbow bag, of course. I have this little pin on there. That's from So Sweet Violet. Little rainbow with a yarn for clouds. I think that's really cute. But I'm almost done and I should be able to finish in time. Summer Sock Camp is on, you guys. And if you don't know what that is, I encourage you to go visit the Crazy Sock Lady either on Instagram or here on YouTube. She's all about the socks. One of my favorite podcasters. I just, I love watching her knit all the socks because it is what I do myself. <laughs> and here in one of my camp bags, I have one of my cast-ons for the, this is actually my cast-on. I went to a cast-on party with some knitting friends here in Alborg. Hannah invited us um, and we just hung out, cast on some socks and chatted and it was just wonderful. Some of these wonderful ladies I've met before and knew already and uh, some I just chatted with on Instagram and some I've never, I never met before. And it was so much fun. I mean, this is what the knitting community can do and what I really love about it. You know, we just meet and we chat and we have instantly, we have things in common. I just, I love that. And we quickly, quickly decided that we will meet, meet up again. And I'm so excited to have a knit group in real life because I do have a couple online and I have friends that knit, but they're not as crazy about it as me. <laughs> well, not crazy, but you know, 
I really, yeah. There are knitters and then there are knitters. <laughs> Not to say that anything is better than the other, but you know, it's nice to be around people who don't mind me talking about yarn and knitting all the time. It makes me feel good. It makes me not feel weird. Like when I'm talking to you guys, I know you're, you don't think that I'm that weird because you like knitting too. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy. All right. Sock number one is done. Oh, let me get, let me get sock locker. Hold on, please. And again, plain old vanilla sock and a garter stitch heel. This yarn is this colorway. I, I'm crazy about it. And look what's on here. Look at that. Summer sock camp. My friend Anna Meta, she gave me this for Christmas and I was so excited. So I've been saving this for this special project. And just the second one is on the needles. Let me show you the yarn. Oops, excuse me. It's a yarn that I've never tried before. It is Undercover Otter, um, a Dutch yarn dyer. And I've seen it plenty of times because Stephen West talks about it quite a bit. Let me show you the logo right here. So when Summer Sock Camp was coming up, I decided that I was going to treat myself with some undercover otter yarn. And I'm going to have to pause it because the boy's outside. So hold on. All right, now both cats are in the house. Let's see how that's working. Sweetheart, no, no. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. And this colorway is Hill House. It is on their squirm base, 8020 Super Rose Merino Nylon. And it's 400 meters, 437 yards per 100 grams. And I think this colorway is just absolutely gorgeous. And the way it knits up, I just love it. Again, 2.25 millimeter needles, vanilla sock, garter stitch heel. I'm on a kick, you guys. <laughs> I recently went to a yarn event, knitting event, Streik i Denmark's Jade, Knit in Denmark's Heart. You might have watched the um, vlog from there. If not, just go back one episode and you can see a bit from there. I did a workshop with my friend Karen about socks, duh. <laughs> but I also had a little bit of time to walk around the booths and, and look at yarn. Not much time because there was a lot of chatting and I enjoyed that so much. It was really, really fun. Thank you to all of you who came and said hi and had a chat. I just, I enjoyed that so much. Anna Mette, my friend, she made me this bag. We're, her and Karen and I were doing a, a summer knit along for socks here just in Denmark. Summer Strömpestreck. And she made us matching project bags. I mean, Holy moly, look at this bag. Look at that. The little knitted socks on there and the embroidery with my name on it. Wow. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So, of course, I had to put some sock yarn in here right away. And Henriette from By Kielreich, uh, one of a Danish yarn dyer, she has, she dyes yarn and then she has a brick and mortar store not too far from where I live and she wanted like a more commercial brand and she texted me and said would you mind maybe testing this yarn for me so right now you're going to see that label this is sponsored because I'm testing this yarn for her and so she said come on over when you're at the event and we'll check out colors and stuff and uh, if I show you these you might be able to guess what I am going to get, have cast on my needles. The grannies in a row socks. They're so amazing. I mean, I've wanted to knit those ever since I saw just the first little thing that Jen showed on Instagram. She's 
everything shapes us on Instagram. I will, you can find everything down below. But let me show you this yarn because <clears throat> I might need it. But let me show you the yarn that I'm using, the colors first. Isn't that cool? I think they're absolutely crazy and I love it. The yarn is called Gazelle Happy Feet. And these are unicolors. This ball of yarn, it's 50 grams and it runs 165 meters or that's 180 yards. So not fingering, not really sport. I would say that when I knit with or crochet with it and I have done a little test knit but I have not cast on the socks yet it feels like kind of a heavy fingering to me and I do love that because then I'm gonna get like a really sturdy sock out of it I would say well let me show tell you the the content it is 75% superwash merino wool and 25% polyamide I am so excited to cast these socks on the yarn is gorgeous it is soft and yes, I know that this is sponsored and I have not paid for it, but if I did not like it, I would say so. As I said earlier, this is full transparency. I don't say yes to any collaboration that I don't feel that I can, I can live up to or be honest about or something like that. So why are you here and here guys? This is my honest opinion. And I like me a soft yarn. I'm excited to see how they knit up and if, you know, the softness, if they'll like uh, peel a little bit, but no peeling whatsoever for the crocheting. So that's good. I've washed the little granny squares. I'm going to um, sew them together and then cast on the socks. And speaking of summer sock cows, Everything shapes us, Jen. She does have a cal coming up for the granny, grannies in a row socks. She starts on June 24th, so this Saturday. I can't remember the, the end date. I'm sorry about that. But go on ahead, check out her Instagram. There's plenty of information about it there. And the good thing about it is that whips are allowed, so I'm good to go to participate. Yay! <laughs> And now for the whips that I can't show you completely. Karin and I, we designed a sock for the Knit in Denmark's Heart. And we thought, well, that's going to be it. But then we saw, we saw a call for designs. And we thought, well, maybe we should try that because we did have an idea. But then we changed our minds because that call was for a fingering. And the design that we had in our minds is going to be in DK. And when I was talking to Henrietta from Vikilerik, we asked her if she uh, wanted to sponsor some yarn to knit this design. And she was so sh sweet and she did. And these two colors are going to be the socks that I am knitting. Karin is knitting up the pattern in another yarn, also by a Danish dyer from, um, her name is, Marlene from It's Yarn. I'll show you some of her yarn in a moment. <laughs> but these two colors. This is Vil Me Vilje and this is Blended Bolsa. Mixed heart candies and crazy about Vilje. Vilje is her granddaughter. And uh, I am so excited to show you this because I think they're turning out really good. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that myself, but I will. It's a fun sock, you guys. And it's in DK, so it's a quick knit as well. Um, the pattern will be out this fall, and it will be both in Danish and in English. The last one was not in English, and I can't translate that because it was made for the event. So, yeah. But this next one will be available in English as well. In this bag... I have the test knit that is not a sock. I am not going to talk about it because I can't, 
but I will show you the yarn because this is a new experience for me. And now you might think that I'm completely crazy because this is just a plain merino wool. Usually I knit in a merino sock and I've, I've never knitted in merino singles before. This is my first time and boy, do I love it. It is squishy. It is lovely. I mean, oh, this is not my last time knitting something in merino singles. And look at these two colors together. Isn't that just amazing? This, these two colors are from It's Yarn. And let me get you the labels right here so I can show you. I bought these myself, so nothing sponsored here. This one is called Strandwein or Beach Road. And this one is called Löffel or a Falling Leaves. I love these colors together. I love this test knit I'm doing. It's so addictive, so addictive. I just, I don't want to put it down. It's all that I want to knit, so I am extremely excited to get to show you and share. This is a good one. That's all I have on my needles. Well, that's not true, but that's all I'm knitting on at the moment. So no reason to show you something that I haven't even done nothing on. I will show you those projects when I start them up again. They're hard. I, I have, I have a bit of hibernation going on <laughs> in my whips. <laughs> But let me tell you about the podcaster of the day, or I should say podcasters, because these two wonderful ladies, they podcast together. I am, of course, talking about knitting together with Kim and Jana. And I have followed these two since they started, and I was hooked from episode one. I love the banter they got going on. I love the the mood and everything. I love what they're telling us. It is in, so inspiring. Um, it is educational and they take you on trips and everything. They have different types of episodes. They have the regular podcast episode. They have the just catch up with Kim or catch up with Jana. They do separate episodes as well. They have vlogs. They have, let's just sit and chat and see what we want to talk about. Like their newest episode I just watched yesterday is about what's in my knitting bag. And that's so fun to see what other knitters have in their bag. What makes them happy to have like for gadgets and stuff when they knit. So a big, huge, big, huge encouragement for you guys to run on over and visit with Kim and Jana. They're just absolutely wonderful and such nice ladies. I contacted them and I asked if they wanted to be podcasters of the day and choose a song. And I was just absolutely thrilled that they said yes. Thank you, Kim and Jana. Thank you so much. Um, they chose a song that I was like, first, hmm, how am I going to do that? Because I knew the song. And for me, it was kind of, I, I had always heard it more as a children's song, but it is a beautiful song. It's called A La Claire Fontaine. So it's a French song and I hopefully I pronounced it a little bit correctly. If not, I apologize to everybody who speaks French. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be able to play it for you. I did my own rendition of it and I hope you like it. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and let your stitches flow.
Thank you again, Kim and Jenna, for wanting to be podcasters of the day. It was such an honor to get to play the, the song of your choice. So thank you. All right. This is where this episode is going to take a turn. <laughs> because, yes, it has been a while since I sat down and podcasted. And during that time, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know if I felt sorry for myself or whatever because I was busy at work. But let me just say that quite a bit of yarn has moved into my house. But no judgment, right? Just, yeah. If, if, if you don't like to see acquisitions, and, and I also have some happy mail, um, just fast forward a bit for the, the G thing if you want to hear more about that. I'll be as quick as I can. <laughs> so I showed you the undercover otter yarn from uh, Stephen and Penelope. And since I was ordering, I'd ordered a couple more skeins. Another undercover otter. I think this might do some like micro striping and that was fun. It's called Northern Wind, again on their squirm sock. And look at this crazy color. I'm all about the neons right now. I don't I don't know what's going on with me. Never mind the bollocks is the colorway of this one. Bona yarns. I think it's cool. But what I really went on there for was this one. You've probably seen it lots of other places. The Moosh in friends or Mooshi, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, by Cynthia Vallet. It's a book from Lina Publishing. And yeah, all these little hand-knit toys, animals, yes. Ella was very quick to look in here and show me which one she wanted. Let me see if I can find it. See, I, now I should have marked my my page, but I didn't. Bear with me, please. Because for every little animal in here, there's a story. And Ella is my little ballet dancer. And so is Hazel. So if I ever let go of my socks, I am going to knit Hazel for Ella. I will at one point, don't worry. I won't let, neglect her. <laughs> she has socks. She needs a hazel too. Yes. Then speaking of its yarn, I ordered from there because I wanted to try their single merino because my knitting friends were saying, try it. It is a joy to knit with. And they were right. I ordered three colors because I thought that I just, maybe I could use it for uh, an MCAL or something. But then this other test knit came up and I'm using it for that. This one is called Tiadio, Tigger. And it's a single merino. And when I ordered those three skeins, Marlene was so kind and she sent me a gift. This is one of their It's Your Luck. And there's another one that I'll show you in a second because that is not staying with me. That is going to you guys, but I'll show you that in that part of the podcast. Yes. Okay. Hmm. What next? I went to the Seltum Ul Festival, uh, like a wool event a bit north from where I live. Lots of yarn dyers that I hadn't seen before, and I do like to try new yarn dyers. So I bought this skein from Unica, Gan, Unica Yarns. Blockfest, it is called. I think that is just beautiful. This is also a sock base. Let's see. 7525 Merino Polyamide. Yeah. I am excited to cast this on. I think it is beautiful. And then Camilla from Camajo Knit. I had seen her, she does this um, color of the day where 
she takes like leftovers from the yarn she's dyed that day if there's like any colors or yeah any dye left that's what it's called she will dye up a color of the day and i had been eyeing this one color and i was like no no just no it's beautiful but i have enough yarn but then i saw the date on that march 21st and my american sister my host sister from the state states it is her birthday on march 27th so then i had an excuse <laughs> But isn't this color just absolutely amazing? I just love it so much. Die of the day, March 21st. And then since I was ordering, <laughs> I'd been eyeing this color. It's called James Flamengo. It is still on her Camacho sock, 80-20 base, just like the other one. It's just summery and beautiful. Yeah. When I went to knit in Denmark's heart, I also got a couple things. And let me show you. I had planned before I went there a couple of dyers that I wanted to visit. And I did. This one is by Tinky Fibers. I have knit with her yarn before and it is such a treat and a pleasure and her colors are just so vibrant it's her merino sock base 7525 merino nylon flaming neon and that is what this is flaming neon and then these ones viomgan also on their sock base aquata with a bit of Stellina in it. Yeah, I think you might be able to tell. I just, I couldn't help myself. I actually went over there to get some of their minis because they, oh, the minis that they dye, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. But then I saw that one, and I don't know. In Denmark, we would say that I have a backbone like a rainworm. <laughs> And yes, that is me. But I also did get the minis. Aren't they beautiful? I'm so excited to knit with these. I don't really know if I'm going to make like scrappy socks. I don't think so. I think I might try to do like a scrappy shawl or something. Because these are, oh, excuse me. These are 20 grams. Some of them have Stellina. Some of them don't, but I think that this color palette just, it makes me so happy. They're, I mean, they're like, they're kind of like sorbet or something. I mean, I just want to eat them or not, but you know. <laughs> when I was standing there looking at all the minis, I heard somebody speaking English and they turn around and I answer, and this sweet lady, she looks at me and she says, oh, you're the piano player. And I just freaked out. <laughs> it was so much fun. We didn't know who each other was, but then just by hearing my voice, I mean, thank you. It was so wonderful to meet you. You know who you are and you just made me so happy. I'm sorry for freaking out, but <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> oh, that day, it was just such a fun day. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. One more thing from there. These little, I hope you can see them. I'm sorry for the glare. By Strecke Diem, like little knitting jewels, stitch markers. I have a little collection going on. I have like this little ring where I have them on. And then if I'm at an event where she is, I'll buy like one or two. So I, I'm collecting a little rainbow for myself. And these colors I did not have. They're just beautiful. Back in April, I went on tour with the choir that I'm in. We went to Svenborg on Fyn, on Funen, same, the same island that the knitting event was on. And my friend and I, during a break, we went to a yarn store, of course. <laughs> and I saw this really, really gorgeous yarn, again, with the rainbows. I'm crazy about that. 
And I was like, oh man, but what am I going to knit with it? So I did not buy it, but I've been thinking about it ever since. So I found it online and I ordered these three balls or whatever that's called. Um, it is long yarns, cloud, merino, extra fine. It's super wash. It's kind of like, it's really, really squishy. It is 90% virgin wool and 10% polyamide. And I'm going to knit myself another ranunculus in this when time comes and when I let go of the socks. I have multiple ranunculuses, but I, it fit, fits me so well and I enjoy knitting it. So I'm just gonna knit another ranunculus in this gorgeous yarn. I know I've probably said this before, but Instagram is a dangerous place, you guys. <laughs> a homespun house, Molly, she often posts things about kits they're, they're selling and I, I, I've been eyeing them um, because I really like the bags that they have with the kits. And then when she told, when she posted, let me say it like that, when she posted a picture of a kit with the theme Gilmore Girls. I just, I ordered the kit faster than I could, than I could even think. <laughs> Gilmore Girls is my, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I love it so much. So the kit came with this bag and some yarn, this gorgeous sock set, and this super cute stitch marker. It's a Luke's cup and a little pop tart. And for the Danes, if you don't know what a pop tart is, it's kind of a himbesnide, uh, but not really because it can, it can have like different things on the inside and you eat it for breakfast. They're insanely good, insanely good. And since I was ordering, you know, crazy sock, sock knitter type person, me. <laughs> and I had knit with um, Cami Jo's Merino sock with the high twist. And I thought, let me try another base. This is a bit, I think this is like around 360 something meters per hundred grams as well. So I wanted to try and see if I like that too. So I ordered this sock set. It is called Puddle Jumper. And I think that's so cute. I've seen it on Molly's podcast. If you've not seen her podcast, jump on over. It's very nice, very inspiring, very colorful. And you know, I like colors. One last thing is this one. It is not yarn. It is this. It is a handmade leather needle case by the Danish um, maker Lillefa. And apart from the wonderful smell of fresh leather the crafting on this is just oh my word just gorgeous so it is for um an interchangeable set and i'm going to use it for my interchangeable chow gu uh, knitting needles i have the mini set and then i have some um fixed needles as well but they will fit in here too so that's fine for the wires. It does come with these two stitch markers with like a leather heart, but I think I'm going to change them up a bit. Um, like maybe like make a couple of holes so I can use them to hold like some of the needles when they're not on a wire. I think that will be more useful for me because I do not use stitch markers uh, this big. And then it also comes with this little pouch right here for your needles, like darning needles. And this one 
for like all kinds of little knickknacks and stuff. I am so happy with this purchase. She, I saw on another Danish podcast that she had a discount code. So I just, I just jumped at it. And look at this right here. It says the playful knitter. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, I think you can. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Wow. We made it all the way through with all the purchases. Again, please, no judgment. I couldn't help myself. Plus, I did support a lot of local uh, Danish businesses, so that's okay. <laughs> well, German and Dutch too, but well. Local to Europe then. <laughs> and then something amazing happened for me. I have never tried a yarn swap before. And I chatted a bit with Marta on Instagram and we agreed that we would do a yarn swap. We would, we would swap um, a project bag, some minis and some little treats. And I had so much fun getting her packaged together. It was, it was a blast. I can only recommend, I can't recommend enough. Do a swap with somebody. It is so much fun. Reach out. Marta and I didn't know each other. We just got to talking and, and I was like, well, do you want to do a swap? And she said, yes. Thank you, Marta. I'm so excited. And um, what came in my door, I have to say, just blew me away. We wanted, as I said, to swap a project bag, some tea, some little sweets or something, and some, some minis. Let me show you first. Let's start with the teas. I love me a good cup of tea, so I'm excited to try these. And then these shortbread fingers from Walkers. I've never tried these, so this is going to be so much fun. Now it's going to be crinkly, so warning, warning, because she also did include a bag of chocolates. It is not completely empty yet, but almost. <laughs> Ella and I enjoyed that very much. <laughs> and then look at this, you guys. Look at that. So I sent her all Danish tires and she sent me British tires. And that is such a treat for me because I, you know, I don't really buy too much in the UK or outside the EU because it's crazy expensive and I have to have to pay like toll and everything. Sometimes I do it anyways and I might have something coming, but let's not chat about that right now. Um, but this is so much fun and I love this color palette. She was like, well, it doesn't have as much color as you're used to and I don't care. These colors together are just absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to put them together in a so pair of socks. I, the only reason that I haven't cast on yet is because this is so precious to me that it has to be the right pattern. So, all right, you guys ready for this? This is something that I would have never just gotten myself again because of the, the toll and the postage and the thingies. But look at this, you guys. She got me a bag from So Sweet Violet. Holy moly. I, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know my husband would say, honey, it's just a knitting bag. I'm like, there's no such thing as just a project bag. This is from So Sweet Violet and she makes the most gorgeous stuff. And this is absolutely gorgeous too. And I like the fact that it's just a tiny bit bigger than the ones I have, because then I can do like, you know, if I want to make a bigger, bigger scrap yarn project with socks or maybe a shawl or something like a small one, I could do that. Thank you so much, Martha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This just, it made my year. Absolutely. So again, I mean, reach. I can only encourage you, reach out to somebody, put up a post on Instagram, 
Does anybody want to swap? It's so much fun. So much fun. Okay, this next part is not about a swap. It's about the G word, where you can get a present. Finally, if you're still here, thank you. I know it's been a lot of rambling today, but it's just because I had so much I wanted to tell you guys. And I have even more, but I will stop myself after this, I promise. I want to, well, I've been wanting to for a long time, but I want to show my appreciation for all the support that you're giving me for this podcast adventure on Instagram, for the bags that I sew. It is amazing. Just the love that I feel when I'm out at events, when you comment here or on Instagram, the likes, the everything, the subs when you subscribe, I mean, thank you so very much. This is only a teeny tiny thing, I know, but I have decided to keep this um, G word open worldwide. I know that, I, well, I, I actually don't know, but just check out if you are able to receive packages from Denmark um, without having to pay tax because I don't want you to be able have to pay pay anything to receive this um so if yeah you might want to do that before you enter just saying i will pay for the postage and everything nothing there but you know just so you're not put out or anything like that yeah so there's going to be two the first one is from its yarn it is on her sock base it's for socks it is 7525 Superwash Merino nylon, and it runs 420 meters per 100 grams. In this color from one of her It's Your Luck. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at all those colors in one skein. And then Camilla also sent me this one. This is on the Merino sock base that I got to try out. And I thought that I would share it with you guys. This colorway is called Green River. Again, 80% Super West Marina wool, 20% nylon. It's high twist, 365 meters per 100 grams. So what you have to do to enter is leave me a comment down below uh, where you tell me your favorite sock pattern. Because I need to find the perfect sock pattern for my minis for Marta. So please leave me your favorite sock pattern. If it's just a scrappy sock or a vanilla sock, that's fine too. There is no judgment on which pattern you write. And if you don't knit socks and still want to enter, just say, I don't knit socks, but if I did, I would knit this pattern. Something like that, whatever. Open for everybody worldwide this time. Um, so leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel and give me a like. I, every time I say that, I'm kind of like, I don't really want to make you guys do that. But again, I also really enjoy this community that we have and I love seeing it grow. So that's why I'm asking you because the way you can support me the most is by subscribing and liking and even commenting as well because that way uh, YouTube will let other knitters know that I'm here <laughs> and I want to meet you all so yeah selfish selfish I know but I want to meet you all that's me like subscribe comment and then on my next episode I will announce the winners this is very important no comments no nothing from me to the winner. If you get a comment that you won and you have to send, go through a link or something, do not. I will announce it here on screen. If you do not hear it from my mouth, you have not won, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way we're going to do it. So yeah. Okay, I will let you go. Oh, and no, I won't let you go yet. <laughs> so this is also why I am not commenting on your uh, messages this time. So if you have a question for me, 
go on over to Instagram, as I said in the beginning, the playful knitter and ask the question there. I will give you a like on your, like a little heart on your comment when I've seen it. And that is how you know that you're in the run for one of these. So yeah. Okay. Now I will let you go. Thank you so, so much for your precious time. Take care and happy knitting.